thing is long. That's what she said. <laughs> no, God. Yo, SI guy here that doesn't have an SI. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> And really like the first working on the Miata video, okay? We got some we got some stuffs to put on the MX5 here, okay? First of all, I do want to mention the car's name is Mia. The last owner named her, and I'm keeping it, because it's a good name. My last one was name was Tia, so it it fits really well. Unoriginal, yes. Um, but does it fit? Yep. Interesting. The cat went by and it looked weird. <laughs> so what are we doing today? Um, well, first of all, I do want to say I did a little bit of stuff not on camera just because I didn't feel like it. The passenger side window that did not roll up, well, it rolls up. Yep, I know. It's a huge, big deal. Really cool. <laughs> but all jokes aside, I am really excited, actually. The entire window regulator was just messed up. I might have a picture or something of what it looked like. It was terrible. So we got that. Uh, kind of an expensive part, <laughs> to be honest. But we have a window that rolls up. So that's awesome. And I also got the headlights fixed. The headlights weren't fixed. They are now on, okay? But really, I haven't been doing much because I have been ordering a ton of parts. So what are we doing today? Well, we're not doing a ton of stuff because I'm still waiting on all the brakes to get here because they aren't here. Some of it is, but not all of it. So we're waiting for it all to get here to do all the brakes. But what we are doing is I'm going to attempt to do the brake booster here alone. I'm alone today, so we'll see how that goes. I would love to not have to get the uh, hard brake lines out of the way. That would be really nice. I would like to just be able to unbolt the master cylinder and kind of move it out of the way. We'll have to see how that goes. And then we're going to have to... I got sandpaper down here and some like paint. It's not like, not like paint matched or anything, but it's like rust stop paint. Um, the engine bay doesn't need to look pretty for me, so we're gonna sand that down um, and we're gonna paint it because it looks like brake fluid was leaking and it corroded the paint because uh, brake fluid is very cor uh, corrosive. So we're gonna change that out and we're going to. Paint that and make it look pretty again. We also, I also got new spark plugs. So I got some NGK uh, Iridium spark plugs. It sounds like it has a little bit of a misfire, you know, just a, like a spluttery idle, but it's a little Miata uh, 1.6 liter, so it's probably going to do that anyway. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if these spark plugs haven't been done in 100,000 miles. So we're going to do that. I also got a new O ring for the cam position sensor for the back um, because that is leaking like every 1.6 Miata ever so we're hopefully going to do that that seems really annoying to do but we're going to do that and I also ordered new valve cover uh, gasket with new tube seals and stuff so hopefully we'll get the oil leak out of the way from up top here we'll get new spark plugs and we'll have a rust free uh, brake mat, brake booster, and rust free like shelf underneath it. So, with all that being said, not a really super entertaining video, but just something I wanted to want to get something on video to show that, like, hey, we're doing something. So, <laughs> while I wait for the rest of the parts to come in, because I already have the clutch and everything, um, but that will be like the last thing I do, not the first. So, I guess, uh, let's get started on this brake booster i do got some <laughs> brake some you know super penetrator um it'll come in handy because uh these probably not going to come off very easy so let's get to work as you may be able to see yeah that looks good don't it mm -mm. and then we got some rust down there underneath uh, I, uh, I have felt down there. It doesn't feel like there's any holes. It doesn't feel spongy, so hopefully it's just surface rust, so. But yummy, right? It looks so good. That brake booster looks so, so good. So we got our our nice brake booster right there. Uh, we got our leaky O-ring sensor, uh, our O-ring <laughs> from our cam sensor. 
And then our, you know, our valve seal, our valve cover gasket's just probably shot. You know, it's, who knows how old it is. And then our spark plugs, and we are good to go for the day. And as you may see, we got our window rolled out right here. Let's go, dude. Let's go. So let's get to work on getting that boy off. Because I'm man, I'm annoyed. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so if you can see, brake booster is still in the car. And uh, this channel is kind of is based on honesty. I want to be honest with you guys. It is the next day. <laughs> and I don't have much daylight left. Sadly, the days are getting pretty short. I am struggling uh, a lot. Um, more than I would like to admit. So what exactly happened is we did get um, the brake master cylinder off. So we did do that. Um, we did have to take off some hard lines, but we were good. It's sitting down there. It's all good. Um, I got the hose off, and then I even got the terrible, horrible um, <laughs> four bolts on the back and, like, the pin out that, uh, you know, pushes this rod into the master cylinder. All that is done. So, I mean, it's loose, right? It's loose. It wants to come out, <clears throat> but there's something keeping it there, and I'm very angry. It's something, like, in this bottom left area. It feels like it's welded on. Now, I think it's from rust. It probably, like, rust welded <laughs> the firewall. But I've gotten, you know, a screwdriver in there. I've hammered in a screwdriver to try to, to get it out. I've used brute force. I've used uh, pliers on this, this nipple here. <clears throat> no, it's totally stuck in there. So I'm going to try a couple more times today. But um, really, that's going to take a backseat until I get some help. Really, my big thing that I'm going to be doing today, the... Valve cover gasket will get here tomorrow. I did get spark plugs in yesterday. That went peachy and just fine. What we're going to do today, though, is we're going to do the cam position um, sensor O-ring back here. So, supposedly, it's not, not hard. There's a 12 here. You unplug these sensors, you take it out, you make sure you mark it, and you'll be fine. And you can pull it out, replace the ring, put it in. Now, I know that it won't be that simple because it never is. But you know what? I'm going to attempt it. So that's what we're going to try to do today. Um, I'm going to take like a, a step back from the brake booster because I was about to throw a wrench through the windshield yesterday. So <laughs> um, we're going to do the O-ring sensor. Uh, we're going to attempt the, um, the brake booster a couple times, I guess. But more or less, we are going um, with o-ring cleaning it up and then we'll do the valve cover tomorrow and hopefully at some point we get that get that brake booster out so i get the new one in uh, my brakes and stuff all shipped today or and part of it yesterday so it should be getting here like in a few days so like i would really like this thing off but let's get this let's get this uh o-ring out okay so tools you're going to need for this job you're gonna need a 12 a 12 millimeter. You're gonna need some Simply Green or something to clean some oil. You're gonna need a Sharpie, a Sharpie or a razor blade to mark something, okay? And then you're gonna need your hands and a rag, okay? And a thing to like cut an O-ring, okay? And of course you're gonna need the O-ring. But otherwise, that's all the tools you're gonna need. First thing we're gonna do is there are three clips, connectors, if you will. We're gonna undo those so they're no longer connected. Push them out of the way, I don't know what you do with them, just kinda unconnect them and not have them on the thingy. And then we're gonna clean the surface up so we can mark it, okay? And either with a sharp thing or a Sharpie, I'm gonna do both. <laughs> both. <laughs> I don't know what accent this is. I'm a dumbass. I know I'm already going to fail just at undoing clips. I hate clips, dude. They are probably the worst thing in cars. It's stupid old clips on old cars. Yeah! Victory! Yeah, this is going to suck. I'm just going to tell you that now. This is going to be a terrible, 
experience. Not nice. Okay. Yay. One more. One more. Come on. I recommend not doing this job when you're in an angry mood. I'd say that about like any car stuff though. If you're in an angry mood, maybe pass on working on it that day. Yeah! All right, we got all of them out. So what am I going to do now? Going to use some Simply Green. I'm gonna wipe the surface so I can mark it. Again, razor blade, Sharpie, I'm gonna do both uh, because if this moves, you gotta time the car. I wanna do that. Boom, if you can see that, see my black Sharpie mark right there? Marked it there, because that thing moves uh, and you don't have it marked, time to time the car again. There's a 12 mil right there. So good luck, it's gonna be annoying. Once that's out, you can MacGyver the thing out and it's gonna be annoying, but that's what we're gonna do. Take one, I'm taking this thing out. <laughs> How many takes is it gonna take? Hey chicken, get out of the garage. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Gotta do an interview with these guys sometime. Let's see. How will this fit in here? Well, immediately, not good. <laughs> I, I won't lie to you guys. Immediately, doesn't fit. So let's go find a, uh, hopefully, a wrench. What the heck, guys? Dude, come back, come back. Okay, it is out. And I will tell you, my car in particular, this is a 1.6, by the way. Um, you could tell that because it, the distributor distributor is on like the right side of the cams and the, the uh, lettering on the Miata valve cover here is um, sunken in. If it's a 1.8, it'll be raised and these distributor cap, the distributor will be on the left side. And this uh, cam angle sensor will be on the right side. But on this, it's the left. So this is a 1.6. I didn't know that. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> This was really annoying. I was not able just to pull it out like everyone else. Um, this car has really terrible motor mounts that I am moving <laughs> by pushing it. So I would not be shocked to know my engine is farther back than another one because the mounts are so bad. So I did have to take this um, cam cap out. Uh, it's just two bolts on the top, they're 12s as well. You kind of have to move the distributor cap mounting point out of the way. And then I had to get, I had to unbolt this um, big like engine loop basically, really annoying, right? But not that bad. And we finally were able to get it out. Um, I had to spin this to get it out. I'm really mad at that. So we're gonna have to kind of struggle to get it in. Um, but uh, we do have it marked somewhere. Oh man, right there, okay, we're good. We do have it marked, so we'll be able to line it up <clears throat> with our cam cap, so. It was a little bit more annoying, but I'm gonna clean this up. Our seal is right there. It's not a tutorial on how to do this, um, but I just wanna show you guys anyway, so. We're gonna take that little cap off, clean this damn thing off, and some of the back here, clean it up, and uh, <laughs> try to reinstall this thing, I guess. If you can't tell, it's a lot darker out here. I'm so frustrated, dude. My motor mounts are so bad on this car. I think I said this, I don't even know anymore. Yes, I did, That it's further back, whatever. Lining up that with that was so annoying. So I'm gonna see if my timing is off. If it is, I'm going to cry, but it is what it is, I guess. <sighs> so, new spark plugs and that, um, new, so let's start it up. Um, I'm not gonna drive it, of course. I don't have any brakes, but everything's clear except for there's some tools in there. So we're just gonna see if it starts.
guess we're timing it. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, take two. Before I decide I'm done for the night, I did move it just a tad. It looked like it was a little off. I unplugged and replugged in my distributor wires. Maybe they got like loose. Ooh, maybe they got loose. <laughs> I don't know. If this doesn't work, I'm done for the night. Like I'm just, I'm just kind of done. It's been a long, long day. Both days have been long because I'm just dumb, and I've never really done extensive work on a Miata before. So this is the first time. So let's find out. 90s cars versus Project Radium. Who will win? I could tell you who's winning so far. Two versus zero. Probably three v zero. In a few seconds. I undid the buzzer, by the way, so it's not screaming at me. Nope, that's not going too high. It's going to drop and do it again. I didn't do anything except that and spark plugs. And I can tell you that it is smelling mighty rich. So it's not the spark plugs. Well, I'm calling it a night. Three to zero, Miata. Hold on. One thing, I might be really stupid and I may be overreacting to something. I don't have a master cylinder, which means my entire brake booster is one giant vacuum leak. That would cause a rough idle. Would it not, or am I just stupid? I think I'm just stupid. I think that would cause a huge vacuum leak because I don't have a, I, it just open air. We're gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go to bed, so. <laughs> I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Man, live. Okay, guys. Turns out I am a terrible YouTuber. <laughs> that you already knew. So last time you guys saw me, I was down in the dumps because this thing wasn't running right. Um, well, my stupid self didn't realize, you know, the brake booster is one big vacuum. So without that there, it's not going to, you know, run correctly. So... I'm a terrible YouTuber, apparently, because I forgot to film this. <laughs> but I did get the brake booster completely off of the car. It took forever. I think it took like two to three days. It was absolutely ridiculous. But it is off. We got rid of a lot of that rust, like most of it, all of it. And it is now painted. So let me show you that uh, in a second. But now we're going to be putting on the new brake booster. And possibly, we don't have much time. Uh, with sunlight, but uh, get the valve cover on, um, and then that'll be it for the day. Um, I think tomorrow, though, I'm going to start on the brakes, the actual brakes themselves, because <laughs> the brake booster is officially done. So I don't have all the brake fluid I got. I did get Redline um, RL600 uh, brake fluid, so that's going to be great, but I did not get enough. Um, I need a lot more than I thought which makes it really expensive. So I did get the diff fluid and I got a little bit of the brake fluid. So I still need the transmission fluid and the rest of the brake fluid. But uh, So let me unmask all this stuff. Um, let me show you what it looks like in there. And uh, we'll start getting the brake booster in and then hopefully we'll get to the um, valve cover gasket today before we lose all light. Um, so it won't be much longer. <laughs> okay, so there it is. If you guys remember it, I mean, that looks night and day difference. It's obviously a lot more silver than anything else. It's very, uh, Future. you know, Squidward, <laughs> but like, it looks really good. Um, I'm gonna have to straighten this out a little bit um, from all the banging, trying to get this thing out. This is bent in a bit, um, right here a tad. So I'm gonna try to straighten that out just a tad, but otherwise, you know, it's looking really, really good. I'm gonna put some, that grommet back in place and get that back on there. Otherwise, it's time to put in the brake booster. So let's get going. By the way, this is what it looked like. 
Real good, right? <laughs> Just nasty. All around, not good. Uh, our new one, or our, our new one, it's used, but is this guy. A lot better. <laughs> Just all around cleaner. So our master cylinder might not be the greatest. Um, I can't tell if it's leaking because it's disconnected and there's still a lot of remnants. So I don't know if it's going to be any good. Um, so if we do all these brakes um, and it's still squishy, then it's that only. Like That's the only thing left. So if it comes down to it, it's... It's the master cylinder, but that won't be hard to replace since it's just right there. That was the easiest thing about this, was taking that out. So that won't be that bad. Let's just uh, get this brake booster in here and hopefully it works. I bought a new ratchet with a piv with pivots, so let's, let's hope it was better underneath the dash because it's terrible. Okay, guys. So I'm the worst YouTuber. I think I said this last time. It's a few days later. At this point, this video has been in the making for like a week to two weeks. That's how it goes with project cars. It's disgusting outside and everything of that nature, but the positives are good here. Um, I got, I'll show you in a second. So I got the, obviously we got the master cylinder out. I finally got that brake booster out and I sanded the, the shelf down. I might've said this stuff already. Like, Everything's a blur. It's been a long time at this point. Um, so there's no more rust. I got it resprayed, all painted. It looks nice. Um, I figured out that the brake booster was the cause of the vacuum leak. So now it starts and it runs really smooth. Pretty sure I've said all this before. Uh, last thing I see in you though, um, putting the, yeah, I've said this before. So putting the um, master cylinder back on, um, I stripped a hard line one of the hard lines on the master cylinder. So it stripped out the master cylinder threads and the hard line threads. Um, so I had to buy a brand new master cylinder, so that made me angry. But there is a positive to that. It almost seemed like the old master cylinder was, may have been leaking from the back. So we actually have a positive that maybe that was leaking. So we just got that replaced. Um, and we got a hard line. So I'm gonna put his Instagram here, dude. You saved me so much. Um, he gave me a hard line. I found one uh, when we went out to go get the red one, uh, the red Miata. We, he was up in Puyallup. He, had a, he has a shop there, so I hit him up. Uh, he's like the Miata plug dude right now. Um, he was parting out one, and he just gave me that hard line. Like, you really saved me, dude. Like, honestly. I either would have had to buy a new hard line and bend it myself, which was not something I wanted to do, or buy like a 100 or $200 kit with all the hard lines, which wasn't something I wanted to do. So thank you very much. So we got the master cylinder there, the new master cylinder in there, uh, the hard lines are all connected, and a new brake booster, like a new brake booster, and no more rust on the bottom. So it's looking so much better over there. And in fact, the brake pedal has like more air in it than I've ever felt. Like <laughs> the pedal is stiffer than it ever has. And there are no air to like these brakes right now. So what's next today? is we are going to do the valve cover gasket and that's going to end this video okay <laughs> we're doing the valve cover gasket and this video is going out because then um tomorrow i hope to start the brakes we're doing brakes on this car okay after the brakes it's motor mount time and then transmission comes out and we got to do all that stuff so really want to get this thing done for my birthday that's the plan so we're going to start on this valve cover now and uh get this thing rolling uh, of course, this thing doesn't have very much battery. I was going to show you exactly like what I'm doing. Um, I will whenever it's charged up enough. But here is the new master cylinder. Look at that with our new hard line there. Thank you again, dude. Like, honestly, <laughs> honestly, thank you. Uh, our nice new brake booster. And I have some rags and stuff, so things leak when we, we bleed it. But boom, look at that. I mean, that is so much better than the rust, if you guys remember. When it's completely off, uh, I'll show you. But, I mean... <laughs> so much better over there than it was so on a valve cover um it's very straightforward so it's not like you're missing much there's like a bunch of 10 millimeters we have to remove the uh, the two twelves back there from the what is that like distributor cap it's not really a distributor i don't know but the bracket there 
uh, remove all our spark plugs uh, and get rid of this hose here and this one. I'm gonna remove it from here. I don't wanna risk breaking the PCV. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna take it off and clean it, put the gasket in there. So you're not really missing much. If something happens, I'll kind of, <laughs> I'll show you guys, I guess. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be doing. Nothing too exciting, but I will be cleaning up the valve cover. I was gonna paint it, but not at the moment. It's gross, hey, crimson. It's gross out today. Um, so I think painting when it's this cold or wet, it's a terrible idea. Okay, folks, I was gonna put this pop up down for you, but it's kind of messed up at the very moment. So it's not uh, my doing though. So it's not my fault. <laughs> We're gonna start by taking this off. I wanna do it from this side so that I don't risk breaking the PCV. I think I already said that. I'm just saying a lot of stuff over again in this video. And you know what? You guys are gonna have to deal with it because <laughs> this video has been going on for like two weeks. So things are gonna get set again. <coughs> Here are the pliers. Let's play the game of can we get these wires or wires? Hoses off. <clears throat> Boom. All right, got that one off. This is the one I'm worried about, though. Okay, <laughs> this thing is long. You know, sometimes I just, Why? Why does this always just happen to me, man? I, I tried to do it this way to prevent that. Like, little did I know this was longer than like, I mean, you're gonna see a grown man lose his ever loving mind. Holy crap. Meanwhile. <sighs> Got a new one. I had enough daylight today to go get one. But now I don't have much daylight, so. <sighs> I have got, I have been able to do nothing on this car. That's what I'm bringing. Better now than on the road though. So, okay, let's loosen up. All these, let's get the spark plug wires out of the way and let's loosen up all these tens and hopefully everything goes well. Messing up the firing order. Wow, that came out really easy. <laughs> Usually there's like, I was thinking I had to get the rubber mallet. All righty. First look under the cover. And It looks good. Like it doesn't look bad. Thank goodness. This is always like the scariest part. 
the timing belt looks really good actually like really good this timing belt was done at some point this looks fantastic oh thank gosh thank goodness something went right oh boy here we are that timing belt looks good got some oil i'm gonna have to rub off but i mean engine looks fantastic looks really good definitely pretty good like way better than i thought so oh thank goodness so it's the bond of that so we're gonna get the old gasket off here um we're gonna clean the surface up um clean this but honestly it looks really really good the surface on the actual head except on the very back we can clean that up a little bit so i'm gonna go charge this camera up more uh, you won't be missing much. I'm just peeling that off. All right, guys. So it's a lot later. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I did my due diligence, you know. So I got the uh, the valve cover gasket in here. This is an O'Reilly's gasket, which usually <clears throat> I'm not into at all. I don't know really why. I know because the stock one is OEM, and it was kind of a ways out for some reason. So that's why. But honestly, for a Velpro, like O'Reilly's gasket, this fit better than any other one I've ever had and I've used a lot props to the to Mazda actually because it's because of the big big valleys they put in their valve cover so thank you uh we cleaned it up a lot including over here especially over here where the cam gears are and in the front as well we also cleared up the actual mating surface on the head it's looking really really good and I cleared that oil off of that um, timing belt otherwise it's looking really good so we're gonna slap this on now put those bolts on and I'm actually going to start the car okay we're starting the car <laughs> to show you guys I actually did it so we're gonna start it and let it run smooth and then that's the end of the video guys holy hell let's get this thing on please and I got a new PCV valve that we're gonna slap on as well let's do this thing please I want this thing to be done I want to get to the brakes All right, folks, valve cover is back on, and may I say, looks a lot cleaner. Like, of course, it's still, like, the cruddy silver that comes with it, but, like, no more gross dirt, new PZ PCV valve. I cannot say that word correctly. Cleaner on the side, like, less oil just everywhere. I'm, I'm satisfied how it looked on the inside there. So now we're going to start it, and we're ending this thing, guys, for once and for all. Okay, I believe I have everything out of this engine bay, <laughs> other than these rags, which I want to keep there until we're done flushing the system of the brakes. Come on, baby, let's do this. You're getting there, you're getting there. Slowly, you keep breaking on me, but you know, we're getting there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Sitting about 50, 50 pounds for the oil pressure on a cold start. Sitting around 1200 RPM, 1250 RPM on a complete dead cold start. It's been a while. Oh. It's so good to hear you again. And it sounds better now. Like it's just a... Uh, it's not so... 
misfiry, you know, with the bad spark plugs. It's like running well. Oh, oh, how glorious. All right, guys, with that being said, this is gonna end it, <laughs> finally. After like a week, two weeks, two and a half weeks, I don't even remember. It's been long <laughs> just to get the, the dumb little maintenance out of the way, but I got all the parts now. Um, and shout out to a AWR, you'll be seeing why soon. Um, but we got some stuff coming. I mean, we got the boring stuff out of the way. We got a new master cylinder, a new brake booster, we uh, did the rust repair on the shelf there. We did a new uh, valve cover gasket. We did a new PCV valve. And we did um, new spark plugs. All that should not have taken that long. But it did because I ran into literally a problem with every single thing we did. And that's part of cars, baby. So soon, coming up, I hope tomorrow we're going to start the brakes. So we're going to be doing new brakes on this. Um, and then next video will be mounts and then transmission stuff. So new clutch, lightweight flywheel, all that fun stuff. So with that, the car is running. We can get the brakes on. Once the brakes are on, we can actually drive it on the road, right? Not a lot because the clutch isn't great and I need new tires. So that's coming. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more fun stuff, not just regular maintenance on the Miata here, Mia the Miata. And then stay tuned for Crimson out there. You can't really see because it is dark now so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed my struggle my pain and i hope to see you guys in the next video on the next um modification on the miata here and i'll see you guys next time stay rad and peace out